to the day's main story now. Police raided two Christchurch properties today as part of an ongoing campaign to shut down gangs. The raids are part of what police say is a two-month operation targeting organised crime. But one gang expert is questioning whether the operation will have any success. It's quiet outside now, but at 8 this morning, Ironclad Securities, a debt collection agency, was a hive of activity as the armed defenders squad stormed the business owned by a patched headhunter. His home was also searched. Police say they were looking for guns, but none were found. The senior gang member has previous convictions for drug offending, and police have been investigating complaints about his debt collection company. There are at least 150 headhunter gang members around the country and a new two-month operation in Canterbury hopes to prevent more people from signing up to it and other gangs. Operation Focus launched this month. It's aimed at targeting gangs, drugs and organised crime. We've seen more gangs come into, into Canterbury recently. It's no secret Canterbury has a problem with gang related crime. In the last few weeks a man was beaten to death at Christchurch's men's prison by men believed to have links to gangs and in another incident a patched member of the mongrel mob was shot in the head. Yesterday two arrests were made after gang related disorder in Ashburton when a car was rammed. This isn't a reaction to that, uh, those are inquiries that are standing there on two, on two feet. Police will be working with criminals on bail conditions and will try to redirect these people into employment and sport. They'll often tell you why they're offending, uh, it might be they've got a drug problem, uh, there might be other issues there. However a leading expert on gangs warns unless the members receive support after the two month programme wraps up they could return to the gang. The problems that we're dealing with here often have a genesis which is decades old. Uh, you know, intergenerational issues we're dealing with. Um, we're not going to solve those overnight. They require very, very long-term thinking and planning. Oh, definitely, and I would agree with them about that. It's not a, it's not a five-minute job to, to change people's views on life. Um, it's about working with them longer term. Because a lot of people actually do want to reduce their offending and not be continually talking to the police. Police are confident this preventative approach will work and the number of gang members in Canterbury will fall. They're definitely uh, the harder sell, um, but we do find that uh, some of the longer time gang members uh, are sick of it, you know, they've got families and they do want to make changes in their lives. However, the university's gang expert isn't convinced two months is a long enough period for police to make inroads into the gang. Look, a two month time frame is very, very short. You're not going to make the types of changes um, that are required in that time, what it may do um, is give police um, some insight into how they can move forward into the medium and long. Police do admit it can be a challenge to convert gang members away from a life of crime. They say it's easier to work with some of the younger members than the seasoned criminals. Uh, it's not an easy sell for us. Um, and it it's really comes down to the individual and it's not so much the gangs we, we target, it's, it's the individuals. And it's, it's about breaking that influence in their lives. Police are two weeks into the eight-week programme and say results won't show for another six to 12 months. However, Detective Senior Sergeant Greg Cotton hopes crime will be down. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.